As an investigation by the Manhattan District Attorney's Office comes to a close, former President Donald Trump has predicted that Tuesday will be the day he is indicted. Though there is no assurance that an indictment would be issued on Tuesday, Trump might be charged for his alleged involvement in paying an adult film actress 130000 in hush money before the 2016 election in order to silence her about a previous relationship. For the first time in American history, a former president would be charged with a crime if Trump were to be indicted. When it is thought that someone has committed a crime, a former charge document called an indictment is deployed. According to David Weinstein, a former federal and state prosecutor, it must be failed before a case may proceed in court and includes charges against the defendant. A grand jury's decision to indict someone suggests there is more likely than not enough evidence based on testimony, according to Weinstein, a partner at the Johns Walker legal firm in Miami. Every case in federal court begins with an indictment, and some states, like New York, also use grand juries and indictments to move cases forward.